All right, we're moving on to module three, calculating net worth. So in our first question, we have the personal assets and liabilities of a dentist listed here. What is the dentist's personal net worth if they pay off their student loans? So we are going to cross off their student loans. Of course, we're saying, hey, they've paid that off. So now we're gonna go through and figure out what's an asset and what's a liability, <clears throat> okay? So a car value, that's what it's worth, that's an asset. A loan is a liability. A savings account balance is an asset. Office equipment is an asset. A credit card balance is a liability. A checking account balance is an asset and your home value is an asset. If there was a home mortgage <clears throat> or a home loan, that would be a liability. So now to find net worth, we are going to add the assets and subtract the liabilities. So we can have the 25,000 minus 4,000 plus 4,600, plus 11,400, minus 587, plus 29,300, plus 400,000. And we find that the doctor's net worth is 465,000, $713. <clears throat> so we add up the, the we add up the assets and we subtract the liabilities. All right, the personal assets and liabilities of a plumber are listed. What is the total value of the plumber's liabilities? So we're not asking for net worth this time. We're asking for liabilities. So a home value is an asset, a mortgage is a liability. A credit card balance is a liability. Yard equipment that he owns, owned yard equipment is an asset. Car value is an asset. Investments is an asset. But a kitchen renovation loan is a liability. So we are going to add up the liabilities. 150,000 <clears throat> plus 6,500 plus 15,275. So the total liabilities is $171,775. All right, the assets and liabilities of a landscaping business are listed. <clears throat> what is the net worth of the landscaping company? So same thing that we've been doing. A loan is a liability. Owned inventory is an asset. So be careful with that because the first time I read this, I thought it was owed inventory, not owned inventory. So be careful with that. A building mortgage is a liability. Cash is an asset. A savings account is an asset. Equipment that they own is an asset. Accounts receivable is an asset. It's money that they're supposed to get. So let's say they did a service and someone just has to pay that final bill. That's that accounts receivable. The property value is an asset and other debt is a liability. Okay. If you see an accounts payable, that's a liability also, just kind of noting that. So we are going to add the assets and subtract the liabilities. So I don't like starting with the liability. I'm going to start with the 48,000 and subtract the 80,400. Then I'm going to subtract the 189,000. Hold on, I'm gonna start over. 48,000 minus 80,400 minus 189 plus 126, 126,000 plus 32,000 plus 20,000 plus 15,000, plus 225,000, minus 16,000. So we get a total net worth of 180,000, 
600. And just be careful, there's a lot of numbers here and it's easy to mix them up or to type one in the calculator wrong. So just double check. All right, an ice cream shop owner's business assets and liabilities are listed. <clears throat> what is the total value of the ice cream shop owner's business assets? Okay, so the business assets. Let's look. Owned inventory is an asset. Cash is an asset. A mortgage is a liability. A savings account is an asset. Owned equipment is an asset. A small business loan is a liability. Debt is a liability. Account receivable is an asset and the property value is an asset. So we are going to add the assets because that's the only thing they're looking for. So 32,000 plus 75,000 plus 28,000 plus 15,000 plus 12,000 plus 125,000. So we get a total asset of 287,000. That should be a zero here. <clears throat> so 287,000 is the business's assets. The personal assets and liabilities of a carpenter are listed. What is the carpenter's net worth? Same thing we're gonna do here list the assets and the liabilities. So a home value is an asset, but the mortgage is a liability. A credit card balance is a liability, but the owned work equipment is an asset. A car value is an asset. Investments is an asset and a loan is a liability. So to find the net worth, we're just going to add the assets and subtract the liabilities. So 175,000, minus 76,000, minus 2,000, plus 3,300, plus 44, plus 44,000, plus 61,000, minus 66,000. So we get a net worth of $139,300. All right, remember when you're going through this, my question number one might not be your question number one. Look at your uh, all your questions and just try to find the one that matches the one I'm working on. These are all very similar for 3.01. Have a great day.